Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Ruth Marquise with Keller Williams Real Estate. Um, <clears throat> I am talking to you today about how to deal with anxiety when achieve, achieving success. Um, I don't know what your goal is. Um, maybe it's to get a new job or to buy a house or whatever it is that you're doing. First of all, I want you to know that you're different because you are actually striving to achieve your goals. So congratulations to you. Like you are the bomb, like for real, right? Because <laughs> everybody's afraid of going after their goals. So this is for the people that have a goal that's going after their goal and they feel a little anxious, right? Sometimes you like, I want this, right? But then once you start getting it, like you take step one, you get really nervous you start thinking about it all the time you start trying to figure out like where do you go from here like what do you need to do and you want everything to happen right now but it's a process remember so I just want to calm your nerves a little bit so that you can actually reach the end of your goal and have success all right so I have three tips for you on how to reduce your anxiety when achieving your goals number one I want you to appreciate where how far you've come appreciate how far you've come on your journey like right now <clears throat> you if you look back a year ago you're not in the same spot hopefully not right if you look back five years ago are you in the same spot ten years ago right you got to understand that you have come a long way you know some people get a pre-approval and the, when they're buying a the house and they freak out I, I, <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually got it. And now I don't know what to do. I think, I think I'm going to back out. Some people like might get let it get to them. It, it's all dependent on your personality though. So it's like you don't get your goal. Whatever it is, if you may not be buying a house. It may be doing something else. It's scary at first, like especially if it's your first time. But don't let it freak you out. Allow yourself to appreciate how far you've become. Let's just say something happened today. Think about the difference between yesterday and today. Today you have some, the thing, one of the things that you've been wanting for the things you've been praying for the things that you've been hoping for you are one step closer to achieving it so just ah, take a moment to appreciate it right everything is not where it needs to be don't worry about oh I don't have this or I don't have that or I'm not ready for this and I'm not ready for that don't think about that think about how far you've come and if you were prepared enough to get here then you'll be prepared when the time comes that's why it's a process to give you a chance to make the changes that you need to make. Let me know if you like what I'm saying. All right, number two, focus on what you want versus what you don't want, okay? Focus on what you want versus what you don't want. You wanna always keep your eye on the goal. Don't say, well, um, I don't like this and I don't like that and I don't have this and I don't have that and that's what you focus on that kind of negative behavior you're going to talk yourself out of your blessing you're going to talk yourself out of the thing like I realize that every single step forward is going to be another challenge and you have to say you know what because the first thing we want to do is say I don't want to deal with this I don't want to deal with this challenge but you know what guess what breathe in breathe out this too shall pass you got to focus on the things that you want. Say, speak what you don't want, of course. Say it to the person that can actually change it. But other than that, keep your focus on the things that you want because keep your focus on the finish line so that you will have exactly what you want because what you focus on expands, right? Whatever you focus on, that's what you're going to get. So if you focus on all the bad parts of your life, guess what you're going to have? More of the bad parts of your life. So if you focus on how much you don't have, you're just going to focus on how much of the money you don't have. If you focus on how much of the credit that you don't have, that's what you're going to focus on. But if you focus on, okay, this is where I am, right and now I know where I need to go keep your eyes on what you need to go and then number three will happen number number three is to make a plan to fix your shortcomings that's it don't run from your shortcomings don't say I don't have this and that's why I can't have it you want to start a business but you have need the money but I can't I can't do um, I can't do it because I don't have the money. No, focus on what you want. You will say, okay, well, I need $5,000. Okay, so now it's like, all right, I, I only have a thousand. How can I get 4,000? That should be playing in your head all the time. How can I get 4,000? Maybe it won't be 4,000 coming in. Um, 
one way, it might be coming in four different ways. So how, what way can I get a thousand here, a thousand there, a thousand there, and a thousand there? And that's how you begin to, because if you feel like 4,000, oh, I've never saved that before, or, or I, I can't do that, and I, I only get paid X, Y, and Z. But if you say, oh, a thousand, I could do that. You know, that's no problem. And you come up with a thousand this way, four different ways, then you're going to have the 4,000. So you got to find a plan and work the plan so that you can have the goal. So find a way to fix the shortcomings. So that's when you want to ask questions. How can I come up with this? How can I do that? Are there any, is there any rule against this? Is there any rule against that? And if you come up with a plan, guess what? Your shortcomings will be fixed and you will be at your goal because the only thing that's stopping you from getting your goal is what you don't have. So don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on how to get what you don't have. So this is Ruth Marquise Haynes. And if you have any more questions, comment below and private message me if you're looking to buy or sell a home. See you later. Bye.